Welcome to the Parish News. This is what's happening at St. Joseph in Plain City for the week of September 15 through the 22nd. Time for a cup of joe at St. Joseph in Plain City. Wednesday of this week is Why Be Catholic? Think about that question and if you can't come up with a good answer why you're Catholic, come and join us. I will speak for about a half an hour on the topic and then we will deal with questions and answers. The following week, the question is, why do Catholics do that? And as you ponder about some of our Catholic practices, if the only answer you come up with is because we've always done it, then you should join us on Wednesday. Again, a 30-minute presentation followed by questions and answers. It's for non-Catholics who are interested, and it's for Catholics who need to know the answer to those questions. On page 5 of the bulletin, our St. Martin de Poor Society has an update. So please check that out. Next weekend is the fifth weekend of the month. Normally we take up an offering for the St. Martin de Poor Society. Envelopes are in your pack or available at the door of the church. So fill them, drop them in the offertory. We have a financial report in the bulletin for the last fiscal year. We had budgeted an offertory of $319,000 and your contributions totaled $333,000. So, thank you for your generosity. We appreciate that. Now, next year's budget does call for a, an increase. And if you haven't increased your offering recently, now's the time to consider doing that. You'll note that our budgeted expenses came in below budget and below our offertory. And so we had a, a net income. That money is held in reserve, used for special things. Now, this past year we used 50000 from our reserve to extend the parking lot. We are holding money for the day that the furnace and air conditioning at the church goes out. Uh, both of those are older than me, so they could go at any time. But we practice good stewardship here in the parish, and we appreciate what you do. Now, a word about our capital campaign, A Well-Built Faith. I have heard secondhand people raise the question, well, why am I paying on this if the new church is going to be 10 years down the road? Now, people say things like that to Ann or Sarah or Kelly or Sue or Melissa. And they always tell you, tell Father Pat. None of you do. I'm lonely. Talk to me. Fortunately, the girls in the office do, but I need to hear from you. This is part of your obligation to the church, not just to give money, but to let me know how well we're doing the job, what we could do better. So we need to break the habit of silence. You need to talk to me. 
you'll need to talk to your next pastor. Now, don't read too much into that. There will be a next pastor unless Jesus comes back soon. Now, I'm cute, Irish, but I am not immortal. So there will be another pastor. But learn now. Talk to me. Tell me how we're doing. Now we have a new youth program starting next Sunday evening for high school youth. St. Joseph presents a drama production company. So for our teens, if you wanted to be an actor, a writer, you're good with backstage material, you handle a camera well, uh, this is an opportunity. Our goal is to produce videos for the religious education program and for the enrichment of others. So come join us Sunday, September 29th here at the Parish Activity Center at 6 p.m. We'll get ourselves organized and make plans from there. So, other good stuff in the bulletin, please check it out. And we'll be talking to you again soon. God bless, and may you be in heaven a long time before the devil knows you're dead.